Hey guys, 7WWE rocks here, and uh, sorry for the late upload, and sorry for uh, two prediction videos in a row. Um, I don't like doing that just because I feel like my predictions videos don't do the best, but I do like making predictions videos just for the people that will watch it, um, but I don't like to just have it consecutively because then it gets kind of boring. Um, but my channel doesn't have a lot of variety, uh, but hopefully you still enjoy it. Uh, but I'm going to be doing my TLC uh, predictions uh, for uh, this Sunday. It's uh, December 4th, uh, which uh, really snuck up on me. These uh, Ever since they've had these special events or whatever on the network, uh, you know, Raw and SmackDown has, uh, they really just just show up out of nowhere. It seems like, like an RKO out of nowhere. Um, six matches on the card. And I haven't really been that interested in SmackDown since the brand split. Um uh, but the main event, I think, has a lot, a lot of promise. So uh, six matches, like I said. I don't know about a pre-show. Um, so sorry if they add one. I, I don't make the prediction for it in this video. Uh, but just going uh, in no particular order. We're going to start off with Kalisto versus Baron Corbin in a chairs match. Um, Baron Corbin got the upper hand on, him, on Kalisto this past SmackDown. So that kind of makes me think Kalisto might have a shot. But I think we're going to go with Baron Corbin. Corbin. I'd be not surprised if Kalisto won, but I, I just don't see them. If if he does win, that's great, though. I would love to see Kalisto in, like, a Rey Mysterio, you know, underdog, giant killer uh, type character. I would love to see that. But I'm going to go with Corbin to win it in the chairs match. Uh, for the Tag Team Championships, the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, we got Heath Slater and Rhino defending against the new and improved Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. Um... I love Heath Slater and Rhino, but I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this Wyatt team, I feel like they're really, really pushing. So I think uh, Bray Wyatt will get his first uh, WWE title, right? This I feel like, yeah, I don't think he's had a, a championship. Um, so I would, yeah, I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton getting the win and becoming the new tag team champions. Basically killing Heath Slater and Rhino in the process, probably. <laughs> Uh, in a notice qualification match, Nikki Bella versus Carmella. I'm just going to say right off the bat, I think uh, Nikki Bella should get the win. Um, hopefully the match doesn't suck. Um, the Miz versus Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. We got the Miz uh, as champion. I, I'm i reading this off Wikipedia, and I honestly thought they got it wrong. It should be Dolph Ziggler as the Intercontinental Championship, but I forgot Miz won it, and they just flip flop titles left and right. I'm going to say The Miz wins it, and uh, thank God that I think Daniel Bryan said on one of the SmackDowns that no matter what happens, they go their separate ways. Or no, like Even if Ziggler wins, Miz doesn't get a rematch. That's it. So I'm going to say Miz retains, and I really hope they can go with this, um, keep going with the Daniel Bryan versus Miz feud. You know, Daniel Bryan, of course, can't wrestle him, but I really hope they do it because I think their chemistry is really, really good together and fun. Their banter is great. Um, so I really hope they can continue that and Daniel Bryan brings in someone to, you know, face them and whatnot. Because, uh, honestly, I am enjoying it. I really like the uh, their feud, I guess. Uh, tables match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Becky Lynch defending against Alexa Bliss. Uh, should be a good match. I really like both of them. I think Alexa's great. I think Becky's awesome. Um, I'm going to say Becky Lynch retains. She puts Alexa Bliss through a table. And in your main event, in a tables, ladders, and chairs match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, AJ Styles versus Dean Ambrose. Um, I am actually actually really looking forward to this match because this is the first time AJ Styles has been in the TLC match for the WWE, and uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. He does some crazy, crazy spots. Like on SmackDown a few weeks ago, freaking James Ellsworth pushes him off a ladder and he just tumbled to the outside, and I thought he could have broken his leg so many different times on so many different on each landing he did. And uh, I just wish someone backstage would be like, "Dude, this is a SmackDown. Like, no one cares about this. Please stop trying to kill yourself. Um, this isn't even a pay per view, dude. Calm down." Um, but I'm gonna say AJ Styles retains, uh, and I I'm really expecting it to be a really good match because I think AJ Styles will pull out a lot of stuff and. Um, I'm worried that they'll have Dean Ambrose win it back, and then, you know, he's been all buddy-buddy with James Ellsworth, and James Ellsworth has a title shot, so then he'll be like, I'm going to verse you or whatever. I would really, really hate if the WWE did that, but I, f I wouldn't put it past them at all. I, I really feel like they would do something like that. But, say, AJ Styles retains, and hopefully goes on a different direction from the whole James Ellsworth thing. I'm really glad he's champion, but I just feel like... This has been a, not like a crappy title reign, but it really hasn't been like great with this whole James Ellsworth thing. And uh, I really hope 
Royal Rumble through WrestleMania season, he has some really good uh, championship defenses and some title contenders. I really, really hope so. So, um, excuse me. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 WWE Rocks. Um, let me know your predictions down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear them. And uh, just thank you so much for watching. And uh, we're in these final weeks of uh, school with uh, for me. So once Christmas break hits, I'm going to do a lot better. Uh, I'm going to try to do a wrestling review show. Maybe 205 Live. I don't know. That might be iffy. But I'm going to try to review a show weekly. So um, just thank you so much for watching and all the support. And um, I hope you guys have a great night.